He rules over the storms. Psalms 8 and 9, verses 9, the Bible says, You rule over the surging sea. When its waves mount up, you steal them. The world we live in, my brothers and sisters today, provides various avenues for calming the storms of life. To some, every storm has a cause, every storm has a formula, and every storm has a prescription. But I ask myself, who told the psalmist that God calms storms? This was a man who knew God enough to understand that whatever storm comes in one's life, he rules over it and calms it down. God speaks peace, be still to the waves, and they listen. No matter how much they arise, they will come because God rules over the storms of the sea. And that is why David, having experienced it, writes Psalms 89 verses 1. Think about his battles with Goliath. Think about his loss of a son, the struggles of leadership that Goliath, that David experiences. Think about his betrayal from his own son, Absalom. Having experienced a sea of storms in his life, he witnesses God calming every storm in his time. And out of this revelation, he writes, you rule over the surging sea. When the waves mount up, you steal them. Today, I pray that God may rule over your storms of life and quiet them. My prayer for you today is that may God reach out to the hurricanes of your life and make them still. May you have a desire to encounter that one true God who rules over the surging sea. I pray that this week you will witness the power of him who rules over the storms and the waves of your life. Like the psalmist said, he rules over the storms of our lives and the surging sea and quietens them. May you experience peace and quietness and flourish in your life as you continue to focus on him. May God bless you all the way from Rigo Heights. We will be praying for you and we will be seeing you soon right here at 6 Rigo Road in Dartmouth. God bless you. <music>